Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. This morning, we're going to be doing another shave review on West, uh, West Coast IPA by Tallow and Steel. So, I will warn you right now, um, I forgot to charge my, uh, my GoPro camera's battery, so there is no lather cam today. Um, I know. What can I say? I messed up. But, so, West Coast IPA is a seasonal release by Tallow and Steel. They've released it for the past two or three years, I believe. Um, Tallow and Steel, if you didn't know, is a soap maker out of uh, Canada. Um, out of Winnipeg, Canada, to be exact. And uh, they've been producing some of the, the higher-end soaps uh, in the artisan market for the past uh, couple years or so. Um, they're in their third iteration of their soap base, the V3 soap base. Um, I've done previous reviews on that in Sicily um, and Kyoto, uh, two of their scents. Uh, this right here is in their V2 base. Um, I picked this up at Pasteur's, and when I read the scent notes online, I wasn't sure I was really going to like it. Um, I, 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 I enjoy beer but I don't want to smell like beer. Um, and so just something that was made up of three different types of hops really didn't sound appealing to me. I mean, here are the scent notes right here. Um, and the first three scent notes are, you know, uh, Cascade hops, uh, see here, Columbus hops and Centennial hops. Um, but then it's followed up uh, by grapefruit, lemon, tangerine, and uh, lime, I believe, orange. Um, and then it's got pine in there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, the actual overall feeling though I get um, is I get the mix of the citrus and the hops gives it a little bit of a grounding so it's not so bracing of a citrus. Uh, it's actually quite clever in the way they did this. Um, and it smells pretty good. Uh, it smelled good enough that I bought it over other soaps um, that were probably a little more desirable. Um, so, uh, ingredient list as far as the V2 base is concerned, it, it's not that much different over the V3. Um, here's the ingredient list right here. Uh, the percentages uh, looks like they were uh, changed a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, the ingredients are fairly similar. Uh, the V3 base was redesigned so that the soap base didn't get in the way of the, the fragrance notes uh, quite as much. So, um, packaging-wise, um, it's your typical tallow and steel. Um, nice labeling, waterproof. It's got the scent notes all the way around. This happened, that this is the since it's the V2 base, excuse me, this does not have uh, the percentages uh, for each scent note, um, which I really, really appreciated on the V3 base on the, the Sicily and Kyoto uh, ver uh, soaps. Uh, and then it does have a nice side labeling with the ingredients listed right here. Uh, yeah, I, the soap itself is medium hard um, and it has a darker color right here. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is going to translate still into a, a white lather. Uh, but unlike uh, some others that will produce a darker lather. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead, get my lather ready, strap my razor. Uh, as far as what we're using today for equipment, we're using my new Shave Mac. This is a 26 millimeter silver tip, two band. Um, I've had it uh, soaking and it's got the the blue marble and the faux wood and the uh, fake ivory in the middle. Um, I just got this a little while ago. This is the first, this is the second lathering on it, first shave with it. And then for the razor, we'll be using probably one of my favorite razors, the Hildestrand Mark 31 or MK31. I always read it as Mark. Tomato, tomato. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make my lather and I'll be right back. All right guys, we're ready to go. So I was wrong, the lather is an off-white color, um, almost tan. So, but that's all good. It's not gonna stain anything. So let's get right into it. So the lather consistency is very similar to the V2, maybe a little bit on the airier side, but again, this is the first time I'm using a badger brush with Talon Steel. So strength ascent once lathered, or out of the tub, I'd say the strength ascent is about two and a half. Um, that's neither weak nor strong. And truth be told, strength ascent, strength ascent once lathered was probably right around the same. Sorry guys, I had to soak my uh, sponge. So, let's get right into it. Not bad. Um, I think I have it on the airier side of the house. Um, this is a customizable um, lather, so. It's just gonna take more uses. Um, not to say that it's bad. It's far from it, it's a very good soap. Um. It's just not quite as slick as I was expecting, considering my experience with the other two Teflon Steel soaps. Again, I'm chalking this up to user error, not the soap itself. Uh, it's just going to take more time to dial in. I probably could afford to put more water in the soap. And probably will for subsequent passes. Yeah, it definitely needs more water. Yeah, this leather is too dry. So we'll be adding, just doing a face lather, we won't add any to the bowl. Now, once I put water on my face and get some water back in the soap, you feel that slickness return. Yeah, I might put a little too much water on my face, but I mean, there's residual slickness there. Like I said, my ratios are a little off right now, so there's not much I can do about that. Um, 
So let me go ahead and finish up my shave. I'm gonna adjust the water, play with the water a little bit, then I'll be back with my final comments on the soap. All right guys, we're done with the shave with Tallow and Steel's West Coast IPA. Um, truth be told, the, uh, the razor that I was using needs a refresh. So it's a little bit more rough shave um, than I would have liked, but that's, that's okay. Um, I can go back and refresh the razor uh, and revisit the soap. That being said, I'm not gonna really give any ratings today. Um, what I will say is I did enjoy the soap. Um, it, it had all the properties that I look for in a soap and it wasn't that much, that much different than the V3 base that I saw in Kyoto and Sicily. Um, the scent on the soap is really nice. It's, it's a citrus based soap. Um, the hops, like I said earlier, do ground it. Um, the aftershave that comes along with it is a little more hoppy. Um, uh, truth be told, uh, wasn't real big on the scent of the aftershave. Um, it's still nice. Uh, don't don't get me wrong. It was still nice, uh, but it was a little more hoppy, and uh, the citrus played a little bit more of a back roll back seat to the uh, to the three different types of hops that they have in there. So um, all in all, good shave. Glad I got the soap, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'll, I'll I'll come back and revisit it um, in a little bit uh, and actually give it some ratings uh, at that time. Uh, but all in all pretty happy with the uh, the acquisition um, you can uh, find tallow and steel at their website www.tallowandsteel.com uh, they are not going to be offering their soaps through third-party vendors anymore so you won't be able to find that any of their new soaps at the wholesalers like maggards or west coast shaving um, not i mean that's that's their choice um uh, Certainly nothing wrong with it, honestly. Uh, they want to do a direct ship from, uh, from their location up in Canada. Um, price point, uh, I paid a little bit. This, this is a little bit more of an expensive soap at $27 for a tub, four ounces. Uh, so you're looking at close to $7 an ounce. Uh, so it is an expensive soap. It does perform very well though. Um, for me, it's not quite an elite soap. Um, even when you take the, uh, the V3 base into account uh, it's not quite there but it's very very close uh, I would put it equivalent for me uh, to the uh, Panacrema Noavia uh, Sapin Officio Vericino um, and and soaps along the uh, maybe Wild West shaving um, that's that's right around the the level I would put it at so it's an extremely good soap base um, so yep Talon Steel West Coast IPA uh, good experience with it. Um, wish the razor was a little bit more more keen, but that's all good. Uh, if you haven't checked us out at the Shaving Cadre, do go ahead and do so. www.theshavingcadre.com. Got plenty of discussions going on. Um, the site is growing constantly, and uh, look forward to seeing you there. Uh, I'm Dagwood Z. Peace.